Hey everybody, welcome back to Anime Quest. Just a quick update video. Of course, we're going to talk about the uh, actual title and thumbnail of this video soon, but first I just wanted to go over a lot of the uh, upcoming Right Stuff catalog, a lot of new pre-orders and stuff like that, new DVDs and Blu-rays and collections that are releasing. It's been a while since I have even watched that much anime, let alone actually purchased anime, so I kind of wanted to see what Right Stuff had going on. One of the first interesting things I've noticed right off the get-go was uh, this weird Right Stuff exclusive content that they're doing where it seems to be like they're partnering up with Aniplex, like you'll see Occultic 9, Blue Exorcist, Sword Art Online, and the Monogatari series are all considered Right Stuff exclusives, which is weird. Uh, but hey, you know what? Uh, you know They probably looked at the success of the Crunchyroll X Funimation team-up and was like, hey, we kind of need to do a team-up between two big companies to try and help boost you know, sales and interest and stuff like that. So that's probably why that happened. Kind of interesting, kind of interesting. Next up, Sentai Filmworks is releasing a complete collection of The Familiar of Zero, which is kind of cool. Uh, Please buy it. <laughs> the only reason I say that is because I bought every single season as they were releasing them, and now they're doing a complete collection and they're still not dubbing the show. Ah, that first season just needs redubbed, and the rest of the series needs a dub to make it more accessible to a wider audience. So that's just my thoughts. I'd love to see um, The Familiar of Zero get a lot more love, especially after the uh, passing of the mangaka, uh, that, which is really sad, and I made a... Um, I, may, I talked about that before, but still, still, um, it'd be nice to see Familiar of Zero get a little bit more love than it does. Uh, same thing with When They Cry. Why didn't? Why doesn't it have a dub? These are both fairly pop popular series, and if those Blu-rays have sold well, I don't understand why Sentai isn't redubbing them. Uh, oh well, I guess. Also being re-released by Sentai is Clanat and Clanat After Story. Now, if you have not yet purchased any edition of Clan Ed, you haven't purchased the uh, first or second seasons on DVD or Blu-ray yet, pick this shit up, man. Clan Ed's a great, se a great series. You'll be doing yourself a massive favor by picking up Clan Ed. But if you already own it, you know, there's no point in buying it again. It's already been dubbed, so odds are if you do own a DVD or Blu-ray of the series, that, that you already have the English version. Or version. Ah, I cannot speak. Um, so not worth picking up again if you already have it, but still. Pick it up if you haven't. Next up, Genocidal Organ from Project Ito, with uh, where uh, the same projects as Harmony and uh, Empire of Corpses came from, which are two films that I enjoyed. I don't think they were awesome, but I did enjoy them, so naturally I was excited for Genocidal Organ. Cool looking sci-fi series, or not series, but movie. I'm definitely going to pick it up. Glad to see that it's actually out. So yeah, that's definitely something I'm getting. Next up, Garo, the TV series. <laughs> <laughs> no. Next up, Digimon Adventure Try Confession. Ah, I can't wait to own all of Digimon Adventure Try on Blu-ray. Uh, I was watching it again with my my buddy Josh, and uh, I tell you, it, it, just hearing the old voices back again, it's a series we both have a lot of nostalgia for. We both watched Digimon growing up. So seeing the returning voice cast is definitely a plus. Cannot wait for this. Also, that is Secret World of Ariadne right there. In fact, in fact, it seems like Ghibli's re-releasing a lot of their films. Here's also Cat Returns, My Neighbor the Yamadas, and Whisper of the Heart. So that's interesting if you're a Ghibli fan. Next up, Time Travel Girl up there in the top left is actually a Funimation show. It's another show from Funimation that they're releasing and haven't dubbed, which I believe started years back with Oni Eye, and it's very unsettling to me because you could always trust Funimation to dub the shows that they license. Now, you cannot really trust them to dub every show they get their hands on. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of sad, but oh well, I suppose. Uh, next up, Lupin the Third, Part 2, Collection 2. Uh, I don't know if Part Collection 1 has this style, but it seems like they just kind of ripped the uh, box cover art for the Amazon exclusive collector's edition of Cowboy Bebop. I don't know, that, that's pretty much all I have to say for this. If you like Lupin the Third, glad that you're getting another release for it that you can add to your collection. But still, I just thought that was funny. It seems kind of blatant. Uh, moving on. Uh, speaking of Funimation and Crunchyroll team-ups, Berserk Season 1 from 2016 is finally being released. 
I'm not really super excited. The only thing that would have made me excited is if the original English dub cast came back like they did for the Golden Age Arc Trilogy. Um, Mark DeRyson as Guts, for me, is one of the most iconic English voices in anime back in the 90s, right alongside uh, Steve Bloom as Spike Spiegel. So, it... it... It just needed to happen. It, need, it needed to happen. It needed to get the old dub cast back, and the fact that it didn't kind of kills it for me. Uh, Napping Princess looks pretty cool. Uh, regardless, that's that's all the stuff that's coming out on Right Stuff recently that really struck me. There's a few more cool things, but I'm not going to get into all of them. Now I'm going to get into the uh, reason that you guys actually clicked on the video here soon. I've just got one more thing to touch up on before we get to that. Your Name, Man Funimation. I I'm glad to see that's a top seller. I feel like it's a phenomenal film. Uh, but regardless, it's just funny that the standard edition Blue, uh, standard edition DVD, I, I, I mean, uh, and the Blu-ray is only a few more dollars more than that. And then you have the limited edition. And this is just an anime film, and they're charging anime series uh, dollars here for the, the fucking... Um, limited edition for your name so it's just like what the fuck's going on there Funimation three times the amount of the standard DVD wow it says out of stock expecting more too so that's kind of neat uh, next up the reason why you guys clicked on the video the Speed Racer Collector's Edition uh, sorry my heater just kicked on that might be what you guys are hearing uh, there, you might hear that in the background I hope not but you might regardless look at that fucking thing Look at that. It's so ridiculous. It's a bust of Speed's head. And look at all the different, all the discs, too. How many discs am I, am, am I counting there? Like, like there's got to be like 8, 16, 24, 30, 30. There's got to be like 35 Blu-ray discs there. Blu-ray discs and DVD discs there, which I know Speed Racer is kind of a long show, but still, and the bust of his head, it's not really detailed. It's kind of uncanny to look at. Uh, it's cool looking, but it's it's uncanny and it's cheesy as all hell. It's like perfect early anime nostalgia there. Regardless, that's hilarious. I mean, just look at it. In the back of his head, having that where I, I'm assuming where all the discs go, and you get a little keychain, and there's the box that probably holds all the DVDs and Blu-rays in it. It's just hilarious to look at. They're charging an arm and a leg for it at $299.98 which they brought it down from $300 to $299.98 to make it look like you're not really spending as much as you actually are because trust me you're spending a shit ton of a shit ton of money on there for that for a series as old as this especially since I think you can pick up the standard DVD set for like 30 bucks 20 bucks not very much I mean no matter what it's a piss in the bucket compared to that but jeez Anyways, I still think it's cool. I feel, still think it's hilarious. It's probably, of course, the reason you guys clicked on this video, but I ended up talking about other stuff on Right Stuff too. It's just been a while since I visited the site, since I've purchased anime, so I kind of wanted to see what was there and kind of give you guys my thoughts on it since I haven't been making a lot of videos lately and this is kind of the, the best kind of content I can make at the moment without actually watching anime. This is pretty much the best I can do. Uh, but still, if you guys sat through that, uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked this and you want me to visit the uh, Right Stuff catalog and give my opinion on what's been coming out lately and what's been going on on the site, I will just, you know, give me a thumbs up and let me know. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys on the next Quest for Anime.